What's up guys, my name is Michael and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to do another lead code challenge called Unique Email Addresses. So, basically, when you're given an email address, you have the first part, which is whatever is before the at symbol, and that's the local name. And then you have whatever's after the at symbol, and then your .com, and that's the domain name. So, besides those characters, emails can contain dot and pluses. So if you add dots between the local names, uh, it's the same address as a local name. So Alice.z, it's the same as Alice Z, okay? At leco.com, at leco.com. They go to the same email address. And if you have a plus in the local name, everything after the first plus sign will be ignored, okay? So m.y plus name, right? Everything after the plus sign, this plus name from the local name will be removed and ignored. And because there's a dot here, it's the same thing as the dot being ignored. So it's my at email.com. Okay. So the reason why is because the plus ignores everything after the plus. So this is ignored up to the at sign, by the way, up to the at sign. And then the dots are ignored. Okay. So the dots are ignored. And the plus sign is ignored. Okay. So, given a list of the emails, we send one email to each address in the list. How many different addresses can actually receive the emails? So, how many different emails can you actually have given the list of emails? So, you're just returning the number of unique emails. Okay. And yeah, that's basically it. Um, yeah. Uh, so I'm going to explain the solution. I'm kind of really, t uh, I'm really, really sick right now. So I'm going to explain the solution right now on what I did to get this solution. Okay. So let me just get my submission and explain it right now. Actually, I should get my latest submission. Okay. So let me just copy this. So what data structure actually is the best for getting unique items? It's a set. The reason why a set is best for unique items is because sets don't allow duplicates. So you should use the data structure set. So what I did was I had a set called that has a type string and it has it's called unique. Okay, so what did I do first? I loop through all the emails in this array of vector of emails okay and what did I do first first I got each email okay this is just for readability okay I've had a string and I said I, I'm gonna get each email okay I'm going to find every position that has the at symbol okay reason why is because I want to extract the local name and the domain name so I want to extract so every time I find this at symbol, I want to extract this local name, Alice, and leco.com. Okay. Once I get the, once I find the position of the at symbol, I substring, I substring from zero to the position, which gets me the local name here, and then I substring from after the position. After the position gets me the domain name. So in this case, after the position would get me leadcode.com, okay. And the local name would be Alice. So that's what the substring does, okay. So now I have the local name and the domain name. I am going to essentially find a plus sign, okay. And the reason why I'm going to find the plus sign is because I want to ignore everything after the plus sign in my local name. Okay. So I find the position of a plus sign based on the local name. And I check if it's not equal to the end position. This is what the string is. So if it's not equal to the end. Okay. That means that I found a plus sign. Once I find a plus sign, I am going to substring from zero to that position. This is going to remove everything after the plus sign. So in this case, 
let's say I have my m.y plus name at g email.com so the first part of the code got me the local name so that's gonna get me m.y plus name right because I substring from 0 to the position of the at symbol okay so that just extracts this part once I got this part I check if there's a plus sign so in this case there is a plus sign and I want to ignore everything after the plus, first plus sign okay so because I found I, I do dot find which returns a position of a plus sign if it's not equal to the end position that means I found it I found a plus sign so I substring from 0 to that position so 0 to the plus sign 0 to the plus sign would get me this m dot y okay so that ignores everything after the plus sign plus name that ignores this part that ignores plus name okay now once I have this m dot y and I ignored everything after the plus sign plus name I'm going to erase everything that has a dot reason why is because I want to ignore all the dots okay that's what the periods the dots between the characters we're supposed to ignore those they're gonna be forward to the same address so I do a, a call the erase function and then I essentially pass in the beginning position and ending position of the name and I'm going to remove every dot okay and that's what this part is this is this essentially removes every dot okay all right and then I'm going to essentially erase erase every dot use a local name from local name okay from local name to the end so this just r removes the first dot I think essentially this is just this is just what removes the dot whereas this is like a function remove and I'm going to pass that in here and remove all the dots okay once I remove all the dots that will get me my in this case because we are we we removed all the dots here so that got me my right and then I concatenate it with the domain name the domain name was everything after the position which was this the at email.com so I concatenate those both and then I insert it into my set so once I insert it into the set this guarantees there's no duplicates and then this function this for loop basically ends and then I return the size that's essentially how you would do this question okay we're a removing we're ignoring everything after the we, if we, we first extract the local name and the domain domain name everything from the the at symbol then we basically substring everything from zero up to the first plus sign to ignore everything after the plus sign then we remove all the dots all the periods from our local name and then we insert it back into the set using local name plus domain name and that's basically how you do this do this solution it might have taken you a while to figure it out but it's not if, if you if you've done some if you like focused a lot and tried your best you could definitely figure this out anyway rate comment subscribe I hope you guys enjoyed this video check you guys later